What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon Walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we, it was pretty, it was brief, uh, we got to figure out a few things about some dimensions that happen uh, here in, in Alola. And now it is time for us to go to the Diglett's Cave, because, well, there's a red flag there. I, I'm only assuming that that's where we need to go next. So here we are, the Diglett's Tunnel in uh, in Alola, and yes, you will be able to find some Alolan Diglett's, and mmm, 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 god damn, mmm, Olivia's here, she's like, hmm, oh, Draven was, not it? Yes, baby. This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they are, they are getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even go through. So how's your challenge, uh, island challenge going? Let me see the which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Draven. Nice work. I see you've even passed Malo's trial. It's about time that you had some fun with me. You don't say, huh? The Diglett's cave settled down too. So let's see. If you are as strong as a uh, as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end, you'll find a Kony Kony uh, city. That's where my sh uh, shop is. I'll see you there soon. Mm, I really do love the way she she walks and stands. Mm. She looks fine as hell. And yes, we're gonna get attacked by freaking um, yeah, these Diglets. Gotta love those Diglets. Look at that. And yes, these are Alolan Diglets. How can you how can you figure them out? Yeah, three hairs, three hairs, guys. And well, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to. Oh wait, it is super effective. Completely forgot that those three hairs are steel. So here we go. Steal that Pokemon defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. What now? What now? How's that feel? Doesn't feel so good. Alright. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the repels, because I honestly don't feel like getting attacked by any of these uh these Pokemon. And well, this place right here, we're gonna be finding like at least four trainers and quite a few items. And uh, yeah. So yeah, there's gonna be some plant like there's gonna be plenty of uh, action right here, guys. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Time to grow some more levels for some of our other younger Pokemon like Terra Ruff and Drago. Drago, if you guys haven't noticed, we actually uh, we actually got him from an egg from Pokemon Sun. And here we have a trainer. And he's like, whether in battles or digging tunnels, Pokemon are incredible. Yes, they are. Okay, here we go. Going up against another Pokemon trainer, Worker Frank wants to battle us, and well, he's going to be coming out with his Diglett. I am very prepared for this guy. Super prepared. Here we go, Joker. Time to do it. Time to give it some water gun right here, or, yeah, bubbly beam. Okay, let's get this bubbly beam. And, uh, yeah, of course, they're going to be faster than us. Even when they're Steel-type Pokemon, and well, there goes a bubbly beam attack, and bubbly beam does it. For the win, okay. And, well, there we go. We defeated Worker Frank. And that right there, there's an item right behind him, I believe. Yes, there he is, okay. So let's grab this little sucker, and yes, we found ourselves a Dusk Ball. Much needed Pokeball for any Pokemon you want to capture in the dark or in a cave right here. Alright, let's see, where can we go from here? This guy, let's see. Looks like you're a fellow trainer who can use the Z-Power in battle. Let us find out whose full force's strength is uh, the fullest. Beat all the trainers in this tunnel, and if you think you can, take on me. Oh. And you know what? He's right. I have yet to use a Z-Crystal here, guys. Uh, completely forgot about these little suckers. Uh, Crap baskets. Okay. So here we go. We got the Z-Crystals. And where is the free space? Oh, there it is. The Z ring. Okay, so we got we got quite a few Z crystals. I returned one of them back to um, to my to my bag because, of course, uh, what was it? I was training Pokemon left and right. So here we have the Normalium uh, Z. It pretty much works with everybody right here. Fighting, fighting, fighting the um, uh, Z, the Water M Z, the Fire M Z, and the Grass M Z. So. Only one person can use the Fire MZ, so let's go right ahead and give that to Inferno Blade. And let's see, let's see. There we got a Water Water 
Z, so let's go ahead and give that. Now, eventually we'll find some more Z crystals that are personalized to a specific Pokemon, like a Pikachu one. And then let's go with this one. Let's give this to Rock Rough right here. Okay, so we got three three Pokemon equipped with the uh, with the Z crystals. And I guess we're gonna just uh I guess we're gonna do this now. Battle this guy at the very end. And uh, let's see, where are we? Okay. You know what? It's good to use Stoutland from Scotland because there are some items right around here that he could get. And ah, there we go. Found ourselves an escape rope. And there's another item right here. Yes, I'm gonna use another one. And where is it? Where is it? Come on. Ah, there we go. Found ourselves an X attack. And well, let's see. I think we've already gotten both of them. So here we have an area where you know you can actually use your Tauros. And let's go ahead and ram this thing right here. And grab ourselves a Firestone, you know, which we could use to uh, to go capture, or we, which we could use to uh, evolve a Growlithe with. And there's nothing right here. So there's some steps. Look at that. Oh, man. Big old Tauros. I'm driving through. And uh, who the heck are these two individuals? Whew. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make a, some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservatorship. I can't even say it right. It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting riled up and bringing them up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is a group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to be uh, to delight in the interfering into, uh, with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having a fight with so many Pokemon. Some Diglett are still stuck on the near uh, near the surface, though, so be careful. Hmm, what nice people. I hope I hope they they're not the real bad guys. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and uh, yes, use another repel. And right on to our Tauros right here, and look at that. We grabbed ourselves a Hyper Potion, and let's see. Yeah, they, they, you, you can't use a Tauros on this one right here, so let's see what we can actually find. And, uh-oh, that's what they mean. That's a Diglett right there. And, unfortunately, we can't cross this thing because we need a Pokemon to actually pu push that thing. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. What can we use? Let's go ahead and kind of want to use. Let's go ahead and use Puka. I know it's a. I know it's a risk since it is a. Is a. It is a. Uh, what was it called? A, 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 a. An electric type Pokemon, but we can manage it. All right, here we go. Another Pokemon battle, and it's against Worker Jeff. And so, let's get this. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So here we go, Worker Jeff taking on uh, me with uh, a rug and roller. I do have a uh, a psychic attack since now Puka is a psychic type Pokemon. So here we go, and that takes out Rog and Rolla. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and well, Terra Rough grows to level 21, and here he's coming out with a Mud Brace. So I do not want to take my chances with this guy. So let's go straight to Joker. See if Joker can uh, finish this guy off real quick. Okay, Mudbray, let's do this. Let's dance the dance. Okay, so let's go with a Bubbly Beam. The Bubbly Beam can actually uh, can actually help us out right here, and Mudbray has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and well, no more Worker Jeff. I am uh, I am happy about that one right there. And well, let's go right ahead and move on uh, out of here and avoid any of these Diglett right here. I can hear them right now. Let's see. Um, yes, we're gonna use another one right here because, again, Diglets do not want to mess with these little guys. And look at that! Oh man, he caught us before we could even get to that. All right, let's go. It's time. So here we go, taking on a Worker Vaklov. That's a good name, Vaklav, from Russia, right? 
I wonder if they're ever gonna make a Pokemon uh, game from Russia. I don't know. How are the how are the Japanese uh, relationships with the uh, with the Russians? Comment down below, guys. So here we go. Psychic attack from Puka, and Puka does it. Mm-hmm. Puka Puka Puka. Alrighty, alrighty. And Drago grows to level 17 and is learning Dragon Tail. So it's finally learning some pretty good moves. Let's go ahead and take away Bide since we really don't need that move. And there we go. Dragon Tail. And Vaklov has been defeated. Fatality. Okay. Um, let's see. We're close to the exit. But there's some, I know that there's an item right here. So we got a Zygarde Cube. And you know what? Okay, we can't. Okay, Stoutland from Scotland. And he... Ah, there we go, right there. We found ourselves a nice nugget. Okay, thank you, Stoutland from Scotland. Okay. Let us move on. I think we're towards the end right here. Now, I kind of want to check every nook and cranny before I leave because, you know, it's always good to do so. And it turns out that we are at the very end. And, oh, whoa, would you look at that. We got some Team Skull people right here, and they're just doing their little gang signs right now. So, I'm not even going to read this. I'm just going to go straight for the battle. And would you look at that? Our backup has arrived. He's like, oh, I was wondering who you were playing around without me. It's Team Skull. I really wasn't playing around, but okay. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you punks. And he is dancing around right here. So, here we go, going up against... Uh, Team Skull yet again. Okay, alrighty. Team Skull Grunt and Team Skull Grunt want to battle. Alright. Bring it. Oh, look at that. Formantis. Coming out with a Formantis and a Stalazzle. Or Sandalit. Do I have the right Pokemon for this? Yes, I do. Look at that. Pikachu and Raichu. Wow, this is a uh, this is kind of poetic right here. Okay. So let's go, you, let's use this, uh, well, the quick attack onto four madness right here. And let's go with the psychic attack to Sandlit. And there we go, no more Sandlit. Okay, and Puka grows to level 34. And let's see, anything else? Nope, four Mantis wants to throw the Razor Leaf attack and it will hit Pikachu. Okay, I gotta protect my little Pikachu right here. So... Let's go right ahead and use another Psychic Attack against Formantis and Quick Attack. Seriously, how? Come on. Use a better move. And just like that, we finish it off. The Pikachu Connection. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. And the Grunts have been defeated. They are not happy. And, well, let's see. So, yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. Hmm. That's a that's a nice saying. See you on the flip side. Man, he is so cheerful. Man, Draven, when I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel so more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've got to give you something. And, well, we get ourselves Max Ethers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Max, e Max Ethers will restore all PP to one of your moves, you know, Pretty great, right? Now I'm gonna go give some, uh, have some fun with, uh, with uh, more Diglett. See ya. Well, I thought we were gonna battle him. Huh? Never mind. Okay, so let's see, let's see. What can we do here? Let's go ahead and, you know what? I want to use him. You know what? Let me let me check a little something right here. I think I have enough TMs now to actually teach him something. Hold on, let's see. There we go. Oh, look at this. We got Brick Break. So let's go ahead and teach Drago some Brick Break right here. Okay, so not all hope is lost right here. I just needed to check all my TMs and stuff. And as you can see, there are quite a few TMs that I, yeah, I have not even bothered to check right here. And, well, let's see. I'm looking for some TMs that, you know, uh... Drago can learn, but false swipe is not much of a move that I kind of want to. <clears throat> I kind of want to use. Echoed voice. Well, Drago 
Let's see, Drago. Kind of want to use you. I think it's time for you to make your debut. Because I have a feeling somebody might, might want to challenge us or something. I'm just saying. And... Nope, he doesn't want to challenge us. Okay, let's go back. Alright. Alright, you son of a bitch. Why don't you want to challenge me? Okay, he doesn't want to challenge me. Okay, never mind. And yes, one more repel. And let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Route 9. And this is where we're going to stop off. Uh, well, actually, not stop off. Yeah, there's a lot more that we can actually find right here. So, we're going to stop right here, guys. This was the adventure to the rock, uh, to Diglett's Cave. In the next episode, we're going to be going to, well, we're going to be exploring all of Route 9 and then make our way to the Ku Kunikumi, Kunikumi City. And then we'll see what ends up happening right there. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.